Hi, I'm Dr. Sunstein. I'm a partner in Neurological Surgery PC. Um, we are a group on Long Island that practices brain and spine surgery. I am a specialist in spine surgery. I've been doing spine surgery for 17 years in Long Island. Um, I thoroughly enjoy taking care of patients with spine problems, including both their neck and also their lower back. Um, most of the conditions that we see are uh, mostly what we call degenerative or diseases that result from arthritis, uh, disc herniations, and uh, what we call narrowing of the spinal canal that causes impingement upon the nerves. Uh, those patients are seen here for evaluation whether we can actually help them surgically. Um, in all cases that we see, uh, we try to actually uh, uh, look for solutions that are non-surgical. In fact, most of the patients I see, actually I send for non-surgical treatments such as physical therapy and also for sometimes injections of medicines that help reduce some of the pain that they experience. Uh, when the patients suffer uh, to the point where they uh, uh, have an effect of their lifestyle and they've tried uh, all the types of treatments uh, that they can do to help alleviate the pain but, uh, but still fail to have a relief um, and they have a problem that uh, actually uh, is uh, one that correlates with their MRIs and their studies that they have done, um, then we proceed and offer surgery. Um, most uh, types of surgery that are offered that uh, we do are surgeries where we actually remove uh, compression of the nerves, both in the neck and in the back. Believe it or not, uh, uh, these surgeries are actually pretty uh, straightforward. Um, and um, to relieve a lot of myths about spine surgery, they're actually quite safe and quite routine. Um, when the patients are selected properly um, and um, the patients are, uh, uh, have a, a good uh, uh, argument for this, uh, the surgery itself, uh, I think these patients actually do quite well. Um, there's no guarantee in surgery of the spine. Um, and that's a result of the fact that there is um, numerous factors sometimes that go into causing pain. Um, but uh, I think that most patients, if they, if they satisfy uh, the criteria that we use, I think those patients do quite well. In any event, some of the surgeries we perform are um, what we call uh, discectomies, or actually removing part of the disc that's pressing on the nerve, both in the neck and in the back. As far as the neck goes, um, when patients have herniated discs that are causing compression, we do a procedure we call an anterior cervical discectomy, which is where we actually go in through a small incision in the front of the neck and actually uh, go right down to the spine, actually remove the disc itself by scraping it, um, and actually decompress or remove the pressure on the nerve um, and um, relieve the actual uh, compression syndrome. After that, we usually put a little piece of bone in. We usually get that from a cadaver, which is perfectly safe bone to use, and a little plate across it just to hold things together while the actual um, area heals. Um, when we, um, after the surgery, these patients oftentimes have a collar that they wear for up to one week or sometimes up to four weeks, uh, depending on the, how many levels they require. Uh, the good news about the surgery is it doesn't hurt very much. <clears throat> and uh, patients are usually back to work um, and uh, fully functional, uh, usually within the month. Um, in terms of low back surgery, it's a little bit different because the back is bigger. There's more tissue to have to go through in order to get to where you have to go. Um, we use similar techniques in actually decompressing the nerves when we go in. Um, and when we use the uh, special techniques, um, we have to be careful when we do that to... Uh, make sure that the, uh, the sac of nerves that we decompress is intact during the surgery um, so there is no leaks of the spinal fluid which is contained within the sac that we work around. Um, sometimes patients have what we call instability or uh, severe degenerative instability uh, that requires us to connect the segments of the, of the vertebrae together so that they don't reform arthritis uh, which is basically a result of instability and lack of cartilage. When those uh, segments are fused together, usually the segments that were fused are not working properly anyway to begin with, um, 
Patients don't generally notice an extreme difference in mobility, although initially they do because of the healing process after the surgery. Um, some of the things that we've, um, uh, we've found to be very helpful in the, in the surgery are some special tools that have been developed over more recent years. Uh, one of them is called the Aquamantis, which is an a, a actual a device that I use that is based on radio frequency that helps um, bleeding because oftentimes in low back surgery we can get um, a lot of bleeding uh, from the muscle tissue. So this tool is very, very useful in really reducing the amount of blood loss during surgery. Another technique that we use that is based on ultrasound is called the uh, uh, bone uh, scalpel which is a ultrasonic device that literally melts the bone away and allows us to decompress the nerves without hurting the soft tissue um, and uh, is very specific only for the bone. Uh, this actually uh, re uh, reduces the complication rate of what we call a spinal fluid leak, which is one of the things we really try to avoid during lower back surgery. And I feel very uh, happy to offer this to my patients when I do these types of surgeries. Sometimes we put in what we call hardware or titanium screws and rods to hold the spine together while it heals as part of the fusion. And um, I, I think that in most cases, um, these things are very easy to put in. And uh, actually, are, as, as, part of the, as far as the case goes, are usually, is usually uh, one of the more simpler parts of the operation. Um, I think patients should not fear this. I think this is a good uh, part of the procedure because it helps promote stability of their spine. Um, in a nutshell, um, I enjoy uh, doing surgery on both the neck and the back and trying to relieve pressure on the nerves and offer techniques that I think help um, uh, reduce complications and help promote safety during the spine surgeries. Um, and uh, I will um, basically be happy to um, see patients in my office um, to evaluate them for uh, these types of uh, surgical problems. Thank you.